students. So today we are going to learn um, from one side KSSM about density. So um, in this video, we will learn until density. For example, the mass of the measuring cylinder is 230 gram and the liquid is 50. So what you have to do is density equals the mass divided by volume the mass is 90 so 90 divided by 50 you get 1.8 or you can write 1.8 gram over cm cube okay this is another question you can try okay the mass of the book is 400 gram the volume of the book is 23 cm cube what is the density of the book so this one you try to do and let me know so let's say when in, in the exam they ask the density so you just write out density density equals to what density equals to mass over volume the mass is 400 the volume is 23 so let's do 400 divided by 23 by calculator i get 17.39 very good 17.39 the unit Oh, the unit, you are wrong. Three nine, the unit, gram over cm negative 3. cm negative 3, cannot. Okay, so 17.39 cm negative 3, very good. Okay, let's continue. Okay, now we want to learn water displacement method. What do you mean by water displacement method? What is water displacement method? Water displacement method is a method that is used to measure the volume of irregular objects. So this is last time I think he didn't say. Last time there's a person, I think is this thing is found by Archimedes. Means last time, oh here got is found by Archimedes. The story like this, one day the king asked him. If I'm not mistaken, this is the real story. The king asked him how to know the gold in the crown is real or fake. Because the gold can be fake. The gold can be real. So that he asked Archimedes how to know this gold is real or fake. So he think, 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 think. One day he think the method. The method is called water displacement method. So what he do is he take the crown, the crown of the king, put inside the water. So when you put in the water, the water will go up. So by doing that, you may, by measuring the water going up, you will find the volume of the crown. You got the volume. Let me give a tick. And then let it dry, take the crown, put in the weighing machine. So you got the mass. If you put in the, the you go to the weighing machine and you got the mass. So now Archimedes got the volume and the mass. He can calculate the density. So in order to count density, as long as we really learn the density is the density of gold is 19.3. If he found that after he take the water and measure and the volume, mass divided by volume, he get 19.3, he know that this is a real gold. So this is what Archimedes is doing. Of course, we think that he is very clever because he can, he can what? He can get this I mean, at, at that time, if you at least know this thing to know the goal is real or fake, it's a real breakthrough. 
Bokov, Bokov now is more modern now. We can fix the goal in many ways. Like we can use plumbum. I think plumbum is heavier. Lead lah. Lead is heavier than um go. So we just need to use the plumbum. A lot, a lot of plumbum because we study science mah. So if we cheat people, also we use science. Put inside and then put the go outside. So the thing is very heavy. By proper calculation, by plumbum and add other thing, you can make a fake goal looks like a real goal because fake it, fake it, and put it plumbum. But last time, um, this one is very good lah. Archimedes already found the water displacement method. The question exam might ask, what is water displacement method? So your answer will be. Water displacement method is a method that is used to measure the volume of irregular object. So you say this, you will get one mark. Aim to determine the volume of object using the water displacement method. Okay, so fifty, then they put in the stone, it go up. So let's measure the reading. Assume that the reading is, I don't know, but let's see. Um, let me see. Here is fifty. Aga aga. Let me aga aga. So this one is one, is it? Ten. Ten. One two twenty. One two thirty. One two forty. One two fifty, one two sixty. So assuming the final reading is here is sixty, sixty ml. One thing you need about ml is one ml equals to one cm cube. So fifty ml equals to fifty cm cube. Sixty ml equals to sixty ml cube. Uh, pour in 50 ml into the 100 ml and take the initial reading. The sounds right. Lower the stone. Read the new bottle. Next, determine the record. Calculate the density. But did they give the weight? Oh, here got say uh, weigh and record the mass of the stone. So let think the mass give any number. It must be heavier than water. So let's give it um give it um anything lah huh? I I just put anything like I put two hundred gram lah five hundred gram lah. make it heavy a bit five hundred gram and sixty ml calculate the so what is the mass of the stone I already give you the mass of the stone which is five hundred gram. Initial reading is 50 ml. Final reading is 60. Calculate the density. So do this one and type in the answer in the chat box. Okay, so let's try to do this. Density equals to mass divided by volume equals to mass is 500. Divided by the Volume. Volume is 60, right? 60 minus 50, I got 10. 400 divided by 10. Cut, cut, I get 50. Uh, remember to write the unit, gram cm cube. Gram over cm cube. So the answer will be 50 gram cm cube, the density. But of course, this is the anomaly result. Because it's very chiquai, uh, so heavy. Because we already learned that go only 19 ma uh, the rock could the rock be so heavy until 50. So but I didn't weight the rock. Okay, I just give okay, I didn't do the experiment. So at least we know that the, the stone sink into the water. Different in density in everyday life. Let's continue. Different in density in everyday life. So, now you already learned density and how we want to apply it in life. So, we know that why ice flood in the water because ice is less dense than water. Hmm. Balloon flood 
because helium is lighter because they put helium ah. correct or not because helium is a very light gas if you blow put the balloon the balloon can fly or not the balloon cannot fly because it's your normal air normal air is heavy so it will come down if it is helium you need to buy the thing that the balloon helium thing put inside and then the balloon will go up or this one i think is saba timber can be transported in water because it's less than so this is how in saba what they do uh they cut the tree but after they cut the tree they cannot find lorry you know you go to the forest you need to make road for the lorry and what so what they do is they put in the water and then they take a boat to pull the wood so by doing this you don't need to use the lorry uh, need to make the road need to pay so much petrol we just put in the water and the boat will drive all the wood so it can carry all the wood even you can push the wood right because it is so much easier to push the wood in the water rather than you push the wood in the on the ground so to investigate the phenomena related differences in density everyday life so this one okay innovation of object for example people start to know density they can make three layer tea ah this one you all drink before layer juice ah of course this one the density is higher high density this one is low this one is high correct or not this one is low that's why they put here milk ma. the concentrated milk is more heavy so it go down again i shouldn't say the word heavy the is more dense the water up here or the bubble you can see is even less dense so the bubble will stay on top of the drink less dense and denser determine the density of the object okay let try, let me try to show you i try to do a then you do for me b and c okay okay so for the a i already learned that density is equal to mass divided by volume and if you got study mass i'm doing about a huh? mass is 200 gram no problem now the problem is the volume because the volume is not given panjang darab tinggi darab lebar this is how you get the volume divided by 4 times 5 times 5 so i press my calculator 200 divided by 4 times 5 times 5 you will get i get 2 you need to do something like this ah divide you can see the line or not it's upside down lah the the video wait wait for a while huh? let me set something so now i already mirror my mirror so you need to do divide you can see the word divide here or not so is there's a line you need to uh, yeah very difficult for me to point uh, the line if you use the old calculator you need to use bracket which mean which means if you're using the old calculator you need to put 200 divided by bracket 4 times 5 times 5 so your answer will be 2 so i write here 2 you need gram cm3 gram cm negative 3 okay so i want you to try to do for me b and c type in the chat box let's try to do this question this one is 100 gram so let me find some place to write mm, maybe i can write around here 100 gram right so 100 gram for b 100 gram divided by 5 times 2 times 5 correct or not 5 times 2 times 5 press your calculator 100 divided by 
5 times 2 times 5, I get 2. 2, the unit GCM3. Negative 3. If you are using the black color calculator, uh, 350, I can see up here, either you get 570 or 350. If you are using the old 350, you might want to press in your calculator 100, uh, yeah. press in your calculator 100 divided by, put the bracket, okay? Bracket 2 times 5 times 5. Then you press equal, you will get your answer 2. Very good, um, Xuan. Let's see for question C. Mass divided by volume. So, it will be 50. This is the mass. Still remember the formula, not mass. is 50. Divided by the volume. 5 times 5 times 1. 5 times 5 times 1. So, let's press the calculator. 50 divided by 5 times 5 2 also the answer is 2 so I just write here 2 GCM negative 3 so this is the answer okay last question 3 type of liquid which do not mix so maybe this one is I don't know let's assume this is petrol ah. because petrol go up ah. this one is water this one is mercury. Assuming, uh, but of course in the laboratory, you won't get mercury because mercury is poisonous. If you put mercury in your hand, the mercury can go into your blood because the mercury can dissolve into your bloodstream. So in your science school, that you won't able to get the mercury. Three types of liquid do not mix with P, Q, and R are put together in a magnetic cylinder as shown diagram. Which liquid is the most dense? Why? Okay, so the answer, we can see that uh, which liquid is most dense. So I will say it is mercury. So I just put the answer. Mercury is the most dense. And why? Maybe we can say that... Um, because it sinks at the bottom. The liquid is at the most bottom of the cylinder. So, that's it. It's down there because it has a high density. So that's it for this video and um, I will continue next lesson during, during the next video. Thank you and bye-bye.